everyone, and uh, welcome to the Channel 9 Racing Show. Now, we're in a little different uh, surroundings this afternoon. We're out at Rose Hill. There's racing, Sunday racing, in three states all over Australia, and uh, we thought we'd come out and join them. Now, John Tapp obviously will have commitments calling the races. And I've just slid into his chair nice and comfortably, but unfortunately he sent a little minder along to make sure I keep my mind on the job. And it's very good morning to Ken Callender. Good day, Simon. Yes, I've got strict instructions. Uh, either behave yourself in John's seat or you'll be sitting on the floor next week. <laughs> well, I know your word is a true one, mate, so I will, I'll do the best job possible, but uh, John will be back with us very, very soon. Now, it's a special show. We have the Racing Show Handicap, which is the first race here at Rose Hill, and uh, we'll bring it to you live in a few minutes. Uh, it's over 1,300 metres. It's for two-year-olds. Um, and, of course, to keep up that toad update, as he does so very well, Kenny, I'll give it back to you to tell us what's been happening in the betting. Yeah, thanks very much, Simon. Well, the Racing Show Handicap, we don't often get a race named after us, but it's a pretty interesting race for two-year-olds. TAB number one is Arla Juliet. She's showing at $7. Seems quite reasonable odds. She'll be there all the way. Crafty Bow, a clear-cut favourite. He's the horse to beat, but by golly, he's at a short price. $7 home with Shane Dye's mount. Be typical if Shane, appropriate rather, if Shane won the uh, racing show handicap. $13 might and power, 100 to 1 major general, 17 sling star, 13 triangles, 34 arbitrate, 31 spy cracker, 21 shadows of silver, $17 zipper reader, double faunch was scratched, and $41 for Lady April. The race at 11.40. Thanks very much, Ken. Now, there's uh, a lot of champions at times with racehorses. Cigar is one of them. Last night, he was uh, running at Arlington, or I should say the early hours of this morning, to try and match Citation's record of 16 wins in a row. Now, we'll show you this race. He's number 10. He's in the Star and Stripes colours. And our race caller, interesting enough, is Michael Rona, who's an Australian. Let's see if Cigar matched that record. Expedition breaks first, honour and glory firing out of the inside gate. He's going to go through and take the lead now. It's honour and glory from Polar Expedition. Dramatic gold is third. Eldish on the inside, unbridled song caught three wide. Cigar is four wide, six lengths off the lead. Wild Sin next and Jambalaya J saving ground on the rail. They're followed after two lengths by Dr. Banting and three off last of all, Tenant's Harbour. Here's Cigar moving up into third position, just a length from the leader. Then comes Eldish in the pink cap. Unbridled Song couldn't sprint with Cigar. And now Jerry Bailey sets Cigar alight. And they reach the quarter pole in the Arlington Citation Challenge. Cigar and Dramatic Gold making runs together. They run to the front as they turn for home. Honor and Glory dropping out to third. Cigar comes to the eighth pole, taking over by a half length. Dramatic Gold is running a mighty race on the inside. But Cigar seems to have his measure. He's starting to stretch away. When it comes to the best sport and racing, there's only one radio station that delivers. Canberra's Good Sports, 103.9 Triple S FM. Join the Good Sports each weekday morning from 6 and start your day with the right mix of sport, talk, music and fun. If you want that winning feeling, be part of the National Racing and Sporting Service as 103.9 Triple S FM takes you racing across Australia from midday, where you won't miss a thing. The best sport and racing on Canberra's Good Sports, 103.9 Triple S FM. <laughs> 